Safi mtazamaji kule Germany aliko William Samuel Ruto mambo yalikuwa yamechemka kweli kweli leo hii baada ya kuulizwa maswali kuhusu maandamano ambayo inaendelea hapa Nairobi Jumatatu pamoja na Alhamis kila wiki sasa pale inaonekana nabii hakuwa na namna nyingine ikabidi labda adanganye uh, kwa kwa ajili ya labda kupata msaada ambao alienda kutafuta au labda kufanikiwa kupata biashara na nchi ya Ujerumani hatuwezi kujua the reason why alidanganya mtazamaji wangu aliulizwa tu maswali kwamba vipi nchi yako tunaona mambo sio sawa watu wanapigana watu wanavurugana eh, ni nini inaendelea tupe sababu ya maandamano ambayo inaendelea uh, huko kwako plus 254 unajua nabii alisema kitu gani Riots in Nairobi are not so much about the cost of living. It is so much about election results that are actually settled. Unaona alivyosema juu juu hataki ku explain, yani hataki kufanya wale watu waelewe. Sasa niambie kitu kama hiki hata wewe nikikwambia inamaanisha nini? Niambie kama alichokisema ni kitu ambacho kinaweza kufanya watu wakafanye maandamano. Si aseme tu natakiwa kufungua server. Mtu ambaye nilicompete naye anahisi alinishinda Unaniona eh? Anahisi yeye ndo alikuwa mshindi. So anataka nifungue server. A confirm kama kweli alinishinda au ni mimi nilimshinda. Na sasa hapo ndo mimi sijamfungulia server. You understand? And that's the reason why ameingia street and anaendelea kupata support kutoka kwa watu tofauti tofauti ambao ni wananchi. You understand? Lakini on the other side anadai kwamba mimi nimechangia gharama ya maisha kupanda ambayo inaonekana ni ukweli kwa sababu wakati yeye alikuwa anatafuta kiti cha urais mwaka 2022 miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo waliahidi ni kwamba yeye akipata nafasi vitu vitashuka and mpaka tukapewa figures you understand unga ilitakiwa kurudi sabini lakini bado hakuna kitu ambacho kimeonekana sasa cha ajabu zaidi ni kwamba kuna vitu fulani ambavyo nimevitoa Aso ni Ruta anatakiwa kuzungumza hivyo. Yaani ndio ukweli ambao upo. Yaani angezungumza hivi hao watu wangemwelewa. Lakini kwa sababu anataka kuonekana mzuri mbele ya Wajerumani inabidi aweke mauongo zake na vitu ambavyo havieleweki. Rais sema tu kweli kwamba niliingia nikatoa kitu ambacho kinaitwa kazi mtani. Kazi mtani ni kazi ambayo inasaidia vijana mtani angalau wakimaliza wanapata 400. Unaingia nyumba na sukari yako kilo moja na unga fulani. Kesho hivyo hivyo process inazidi unanilea mtazamaji wangu at least kwa mwezi kijana anaweza kalipa hata nyumba ya 2500 unanisoma lakini hiyo nilitoa nikatoa mpaka linda mama ambayo ilikuwa inasaidia watoto wa kike na kina mama wetu kupata nini uh, kujifungua kwa, kwa, kwa njia ambayo eh, sio ya kutatiza kama sasa hivi mtu unaenda kujifungua unalipishwa hata 1015 mwisho siku unashindwa kuelewa we unaendaje endaje So Ruto hapa hakutaka tu kuongea ukweli. Unajua sometimes tunadanganya sana mpaka inchi za nje. Amezoea kudanganya huku, asameenda kudanganya mpaka Ujerumani. It's not cool. Rais ongea tu ukweli. Issue si kwamba ni riots. Wacha kusema riots. Watu kuna wengine ambao kwa kweli kuna watu wengine ambao maisha yamewalemea. Hebu ongea ukiangalia pia kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi mtaani. Yes, ongea ukijua kuna watu ambao hawana kazi walikuwa wanafanya kazi mtaani kupata kazi sio rais ndugu yangu hapa Nairobi <laughs> Ulisa kijana ambaye anaishi hapa Nairobi atakwambia namna ambavyo kupata kazi sio rais hata mjengo hata kazi za wiki wiki tu hizi za kuenda na una, 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 una wiki kisha unarudi sio rais lazima unapambana labda wiki moja umeenda wiki mbili hujaenda so ni unabahatisha batisha tu kijana hata hizi akaji Awezi, awezi hata akafaulu vitu vingine hata kujenga kule nyumbani. Awezi akafanya vitu kama hivyo. Unaona mtazamaji wangu sasa yeye amekaziwa huko, ameenda kuweka uonge eti yeye riots kwa sababu ya mambo. Tumesettle wapi uche, maswala ya uchaguzi? Tumesettle wapi? Unawaambia tumesettle. Wewe jibu tu swali. Ni wapi tumesettle maswala ya uchaguzi? Hatujasettle maswala ya uchaguzi. In fact kabla hata sijakuonyesha eh, namna ambavyo watu wamemjibu. <laughs> Tulia nataka nikusikilizishe uh, sauti ya jamaa fulani hebu e, sikiza huyu jamaa 
Sasa mimi nimeona waembu huwa tutambuliki na serikali ya Ruto na Gachagua. Badala unaona mtu kama Gachagua aongelee mambo ya wakenya na ni deputy anaongea mambo ya siasa ya wakikuyu. Baka wakikuyu wameanza kuzukia Rit Ruto. Unaona kama mtu kama Ruto tumemchagua Rosabi lakini ameanza kuharibu kura za mlima Kenya. Sasa hivi mimi nilizagua Ruto. Simtaki ini ini ni siasa gani ya Kenya? Angalia mtu kama Isungu anaenda kwa uhuru kwa ripu samba ya uhuru akisema o o o wivu wivu na hiyo wivu wako nayo wakiwa na gachagua hakuna kura watapata huku kura za mlima Kenya wamegahanya ukiangalia pesa pesa ya ukulipi pesa wameweka kwa mifuko yote yote wanaanza kuzunguka wakisema ni baba 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 wapi baba na ila ni baba yako na ila ndiye tutachagua na Isungu hiyo mara yako nayo pia wewe pelekea Ruto mambo ya upuzi ya tutaki Kenya Usinda hapa badala mwende mkafanya kazi mnazinda kufanya kampeni. Hii ni serikali gani? Ah, kimya pia sisi kama waembu tumechoka. Na hii serikali ya Ruto hatutaki kumbwa nyingi. <laughs> ah, nadhani huyo ni Meru ambaye ame amekasirika. Mm, kukasirika kupo ndugu yangu. Eh, unajua sasa kama mshakuwa na viongozi ambao hawataki kufanya mlivoelewana itakwaje. So hiyo story nitakuja nayo ah, vizuri kabisa. Tutaiangalia Uh, swala la Mlima Kenya sasa hivi ku uh, kwanza kumkataa William Samoei Ruto na hata Rigadi Gashagwa mwenyewe kwa sababu inaonekana Gashagwa anatetea sana viongozi wenzake ambao wanafanya kazi nao kuliko wananchi wa uh, Mlima Kenya kwa sababu Mlima Kenya I, I don't think kama uh, wana focus sana na viongozi wana focus I think wanatakiwa ku focus in fact wana focus na um, vitu ambavyo wanafanyiwa developments na vitu kama hivyo so I'm coming back. Narudi. Narudi na uh, hiyo uh, 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 sauti tena and uh, I think tutapata info za kutosha kabisa. Now, tunarudi kwa swala la William Samoei Ruto kudanganya kiwa kule Ujerumani kwamba issue ambayo inaendelea sasa hivi ni issue ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 na ambao tumemaliza. Sasa hajawaambia the reason why watu na protest. Haina noma. Sasa mimi nataka nikwambie kitu kimoja. Ruto hawezi akaficha Hawezi akaficha kwa sababu gani? Siku na vyombo vya habari ambavyo ni ni vya kimataifa ki naweza nikasema hivyo. Yes. Kiki kimataifa ki kabisa kuna CNN, kuna BBC, kuna Al, Al Jazeera, kuna vyombo vingi ambavyo vilikuwa vinafanya coverage. Kama unakumbuka vizuri kibera wengine walipigwa. Yes, kuna wengine mpaka walipigwa, wengine mpaka unaambiwa utoe kadi ya kamera, wanavunja wanatupa. Kwa sababu hawataki ku Hawataki vitu vionekane like hawataki ionekane kuna kitu kibaya ambacho kinaendelea. You understand mtazamaji wangu? But ukweli ni kwamba uh, inabidi inabidi tu 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 tuarudishie au tuwaambie pongezi kabisa vyombo vya vya habari kwa kuonyesha vitu ambavyo vinaendelea hapo kwetu plus 254. Najua hata wajerumani wa, 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 wa sasa hivi wanaangalia wanacheka tu lakini wanajua like Kenya hiki ndio kitu ambacho kinaendelea. Lakini kwa sababu um, lakini kwa sababu uh, Ruto labda anaweza akawa anadanganya na nini mm -mm, bado itaonekana tu fresh itaonekana kuna vyombo vya habari vina ripoti kila kitu A to Z so asidanganye uh, sometimes uh, uh, nabi uh, aseme tu kweli like hapa bwana issue mbo ipo ni saba e, sasa saba bwana mimi nimekataa kuifungua lakini kwa nini anakataa kufungua unajua hapo ndo hapo ndo shida inakuwa hata kama wanalaumu Raila Odinga hapo ndo tatizo linakuwa. Unajua wanamlaumu sana baba, anamwambia oh baba sijui wewe unafanya watu wanapigana, unafanya watu wanagombana. But swali ni yeye, hiyo server kwa nini nataki kuifungua? Yaani hakuna kitu kingine tutaargue. Hiyo server ndo kila kitu ndugu yangu. Uh, itabidi nipite na comments moja mbili tatu hapa. Uh, Martin Martin anasema I remember in 2007 2008 Kibaki had the same pride and the whole country almost burned down you had to call Rao for dialogue just talk before it get worse because Raila won't stop i think wali mungu anajaribu kutukumwambia wewe kifua itasaidia kifua itasaidia uh, kiputa anasema Ruto should stop referring to peaceful protest as riots Kenyans are protesting because they are starving they are waiting for him to lower the price of unga to 70 as he had promised earlier Chungwa watu ni waliambiwa unga itakuwa sabini lakini sasa <laughs> eh, ikawa sasa ndivyo sivyo. Uh, Linking total again anasema it's 95% about cost of living Mr President lower it down and see if anyone will pick it because of election results. Kwa ground hali sio hali Mr President kindly do something you voted for change which I have not seen so far so good 
I repeat kindly do something. Uh, kuna hapa Jones angry anasema what is Ruto saying this guy is out of touch with reality bure kabisa because you dub the poor with your endless tears in churches and rallies giving them false promises only to turn against them and make their lives more unbearable god must punish you ya uh, mwisho kabisa ni John Wachira anasema you can say that because you and your family are not hungry neither are you suffering from the high cost of living like other Kenyans but the protests are not riots as you call them are about the unbearable living conditions facing millions or million of Kenyans under your um, missile bad governance and in uh, aptitude sasa unaona kabisa wananchi uh, wakinungunikia uh, maneno yake William Sabaluto na kudai kwamba awache uongo aunge aunge ukweli and i'm sure mpaka uh, uh, viongozi kule ujerumani wanaangalia na wanafuatilia na wanajua watajua in fact watajua kwamba ni uongo ndo tunaambiwa hapa mtazamaji wangu anyways uh, narejea narejea na story ya mlima Kenya kwa sababu watu wame request sana nataka niwaambie ni kitu kipi ambacho kinaendelea kule uh, mlima Kenya msidanganywe tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye